men were gone from this country, we'd probably need like one police officer. In 2020, a Texas woman was arrested for ripping a baby out of mother's womb. Now, you might think that this was just a one-off thing, but then it happened in Colorado, and then it happened in Missouri, and then it happened again in Kentucky, and then it happened again in Chicago, and then it happened again in North Dakota. And the victims thought they were safe because they were with other women. Now, before I get into what I'm going to say, I am well aware there are bad men in this world. I am aware of that. The reason why I don't talk about these topics or bring light to these topics is because there's a million other women doing the same thing, talking about the same videos, bashing men as much as they can. Um, the reason why I advocate for men so much is because men also go through these things as well. And a lot of women like to do the pointing finger game, the blame game, but never look at themselves. And that's wrong because if you're going to sit here and say that the world would be a better place without men or just things along that, those lines, please understand what you're saying because there are women in this world, whether you know it or not, because I've noticed a lot of women live under this like imaginary, like land of fairy tale. In reality, there are women who will lure kids to get sex trafficked. Do you know that? Women will help men do these type of things. And the fact that women are like, oh, you know what? Every woman's safe and sweet. That's not the case. That women empowerment and feminist thing has really got your guys' head all bubbled up, baby. Because the harsh reality is there are women out here drowning their babies, attacking their men. There was a lady who got caught doing OF in her house that I just made a video about and tried shanking up her husband, who they showed he never tried to harm her. So let's stop this now because both genders can cause damage. Both genders are, can be toxic. Both genders can cheat. Both genders can lie. Both genders are capable of being abusive. But the fact that men get put into a corner every effing time when you guys don't look at the proof, did you guys also know this? Same-sex marriages with the women, lesbians, they have a more higher rates of domestic violence. Do you know that? Statistically proven. So I don't, I don't understand why you guys don't look at your facts first before you speak. Now, please don't tell me y'all forgot about Amber Heard. You know what's annoying? You guys will shove down, oh, Chris Brown did this, Chris Brown did that, down his throat. But the whole Amber Heard situation or when it happens to a woman... How come I don't hear the same, you know, the uproar? Why is, aren't we still, you know, arguing about this? Exactly, because it happened to a man and you guys don't give a fuck. It bothers me. With that being said, we know that there are women out here like this. Look at all the videos coming on TikTok where men are getting abused, spit on, all this stuff and getting hurt. It happens, you guys. Men's Mental Health Month is this month. But anyway, guys, this kind of stuff just bothers me because both genders are capable of destruction. The fact that we're pointing the fingers, we're not in high school anymore. Grow the fuck up.